Hello everyone. Hope you all had a great weekend. Yesterday was Father's Day. Sorry, I'm coming on a little bit early tonight. This is not my normal. Okay. I just want to get this over into the VIP group. And one more. There we go. We are all set. So we're going to do something a little different tonight. I haven't done it in a while. Make sure that the volume is off. So make sure you say hello when you come in so I know that you're here. Fix my shirt. There we go. Hey, my friends. Marlo, Anita, and Pat, and Lynn. Thanks for joining me. We are going to work on a piece of board today. Um... I don't even remember where I got it, but it's a live edge and I've actually peeled the edge off because it was starting to loosen and I didn't really like that look. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stain it and we're doing a huge transfer on a small board. I want to show you that you don't have to use the whole transfer. You can just use bits and pieces of it. So I've chosen, this is called, I think it's called Sun Kissed, Sun Bleached uh, for my stain. So I'm just going to put some on my sponge and brush it across. And I always think it's important to go with the grain when you're putting stain on. I don't know if that's important or not, but that's how I've always done it. And I'm pretty sure somebody told me once to make sure that you go with the grain. We had a very quiet Father's Day yesterday. My dad is on the coast. Glenn's dad passed many years ago. The kids are all on the coast. So hubby worked yesterday. And then he left at 9.30 last night to go down to the coast to work at a different job. Hey, Marie. Hey, Chelsea. Welcome. Hey, Lysandra. Okay, so I let it sit for just a minute. Now, this isn't going to change the wood very much, but it's going to be enough that it's not just that raw wood color, which I really like. Now I think I'm going to do the other side while I'm at it and that way both sides are finished and I don't have to worry about it. This stuff really smells like holy smokes. Usually my stains are pretty low fume. Not this one guys. 
I've had other Varathane stains and they're not like this. This is like, ugh. It's almost like the smell of gasoline. I don't know, some people like the smell of gasoline. Okay, so we got that done. Let's put this away because we're not going to need that again. And I'll let it sit for a second. Uh, the stain is called Sun Bleached. It's a Varathane Ultimate Wood Stain and it says it's one coat. I've had pretty good success with this stain. And it is really true to whatever the color shows on um, those color swatches in the store. Okay, so it's almost got a hint of gray to it. So I just want to dry this quickly because I'm going to wax the board. Okay, I'm going to turn it around because this is the side that I want to work on. Now some of the stain might come up when you wax it, but it's okay. I'm using a Varathane finishing paste wax and it's a natural color, so there is no color to it. But it really preps my surface well, especially when you're using it on wood. Our transfers. So I'm just buffing it in there. And that is done. All right. So, like I said, I'm using a very big transfer. I'm having a glass of Pinot Grigio tonight, just in case you were wondering. Okay, so this is our, this is a size D transfer. It's 18 by 18. It's called Farmer's Market. It is a retired transfer, but I do have um, two, possibly three in stock. So this is what it looks like, but we're only going to use part of it. We're going to use the part, uh, this part of the rooster and then historic downtown farmer's market. So I do not need to peel the whole thing. I'm just going to peel it halfway back and then I'm going to fuzz it. I want to make sure that I take some of that stickiness away that's on the adhesive. And you can see it's very sticky. So we'll just do that a couple of times. And we're going to do a bunch of different colors on this guy. I think it's going to look super. So I'll just fold that. Make sure you don't have any big pieces of lint on your transfer. Like I have a huge one right there. And now I want to line this up so that I get his head and the words in. I think that's good. And then we'll move it down. I might have to peel it right off because that paper is really in my way. Okay, then you want to smooth it down. You don't want any air bubbles in here at all. So give it a good rub. There's a lot of silk screen area here. 
And if it's not adhered, you could get bleeding in there. You would not be happy. Okay. I think that's good. Now, I think what I want to do is I want to do the words first and then pull back and dry that. And then I'm going to put the transfer back down and do the rest because the rest is going to be done almost an ombre. Like I'm going to mix colors together, kind of gradiating down into his body. So we're going to do that first. So for the words, I'm going to use our black velvet. And I'll just put a little bit of chalk paste on here. And I'm going to squeegee across the silk screen where the letters are. All the way across. And as you're going, you want to make sure that you get rid of the excess and that you don't have any lines in your um, chalk paste in the silk screen area. So we'll get all the excess off and it just goes right back in the jar. So you're not ever wasting anything. All right, so now we're going to lift this and pull it straight up. And I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to dry it. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a blow dryer. I just like this because it's quieter. Um, but if you're using a heat gun, do not let it get too close to your transfer because the transfer will melt. And then you won't be happy. So hold it away from the transfer. Just get it nice and dry. Okay. And I want to make sure my board's not too hot when I put the transfer back down. Always important. Okay. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to use some tiny little squeegees that I cut up from our mini squeegee or and then the mini squeegee and probably a small squeegee. And I'm going to start with his beak. And I think I'm going to do that in orange peel. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of paste, do his beak, and the top here, because that's always a nice bright color. I'm going to add some red to this too. Get some candy apple red. And just pull that through. Now I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to blend these two colors so it's not such a stark contrast in them. It's almost going to look like a flame. Now you got to be careful. I got red all over my hands now. So you just want to get that off. And then I'm going to dry this. Now normally you wouldn't have to do this if you did it in all one color, but I want this to look a little bit different. So that's why I'm pulling it up and putting it back down. All right. Now for the rest of it, I think the 
think I want to do and then go into the teal and then do this part black. This I've just got this in my head. I don't even know how it's going to look. So you guys are going to get this at the same time as me. All right, so let's get this yellow is a little bit thick. You can see this is kind of fluffy and thick. This is too much. So what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of distilled water to it. I use distilled water because there, this is very organic, the chalk paste. So you don't want to add anything that isn't completely clean. Um, tap water sometimes has bacteria in it. And you don't want to add that to your chalk paste. So we're just going to mix it up. Give it a good mix. Um, the other thing is do not use wooden stir sticks in your chalk paste because the wood will absorb the water that's in the paste and actually dry it out. So it's always better to use a plastic little spatula that we have or you could use a plastic knife or a metal knife, just not wood. Okay, that's a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop colors down here. I'm gonna add some red. I'll add some orange. So this is what's called the hot mess technique because you are just randomly throwing color down. some of this in here. I might even add just a tad bit of the black. Just a little bit. Okay, so now we're ready to pull the color through. So I'm just going to start here. Drag all the color down. And I'm going to grab a color tray. Because I'm mixing the colors, I can't put this back into the jar. So I'm just going to make a new color. All the way. Now some spots it's going to look a little bit muddier because of the colors that are mixed together, but it's still going to look really good. I remember going to the kangaroo farm in Kelowna and they had a rooster there and his colors were just amazing. And I so wanted to reproduce that. I think I might want to add just a touch of yellow here. So we'll go through this again. Oh yeah, that's much better. So much better. Just having that little bit of lighter color is going to make all the difference. Okay, now we're going to peel. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll just put that over in the water bath. That is gorgeous. Look at those colors. Hey, Carrie. 
Yes, very, very unique, Marlo. I love how it turned out. It's so bright, it's vibrant. Thanks, Anita. So now what I'm going to do to protect this is I'm going to spray it with a matte sealer. And I like using Rust-Oleum matte sealer. So I'll probably do four coats. And I could use this as just a little serving board. As long as I get it sealed properly, it should be okay. Thank you, Marie. Thanks, Sue. Yeah, I love it. So it just shows you, you don't have to use um, an 18 by 18 transfer. Um, you can just use part of the transfer to do something. Um, it's very cool. Very, very cool. So I'm going to let this dry really well. And then... I'm going to seal it tomorrow. I've got a bunch of stuff that I need to line up and seal uh, because I'm going to have a sale for finished products. Oh, you have a rooster collection. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? Now, like I said, I do have a couple of the transfers. They are retired. Um, so if you're interested in getting your hands on one of them, let me know and I will let you know what shipping would be for that. It's just beautiful. So I'm just going to clean up my pace. I always like to just scrape the edges, make sure it's not a mess before I put the lids back on. Now today is, oh my goodness, what day is it? 22nd of June. So there's eight more days to get in on the Club Couture deal that I have in the VIP group. If you're not a member of the VIP group and you'd like information, comment VIP and I will get you the link. Uh, if you are thinking about getting the club couture or monthly transfer uh, but you want information you're not too sure yet comment club and i will send you a message and we can chat about what it is the cost is 26.99 a month plus tax and shipping is free anywhere in canada and the u.s so you don't have to worry about paying shipping the other benefit to being a club member is your um, shipping rate in Canada is reduced to $9.95 from $13.95. Hey, Amy. So that is a pretty awesome deal too. A lot of places I've been buying and supporting other women and companies and their minimum shipping rate is anywhere between, between $13 and $18. So ours is pretty on point when it comes to shipping. Um, the shipping is getting better. We had a couple of glitches for a while there and it was taking a long time to get out, but that seems to have been resolved. So that's really good news. Um, what else? Oh, if you were thinking that maybe this would be something that you would be interested in doing, uh, you can comment team and I will chat with you about what's involved, what you have to do. Um, the reason that I'm going live for 90 days is because I'm in a challenge. And anytime somebody challenges me, I totally like I have to kill it because that's just who I am. That's my personality. So today was day 34. I'm not even halfway there yet. Oh my goodness. Uh, Wednesday, I think I'm doing... I haven't decided if I'm going to do it Wednesday or if I'm going to do it Friday afternoon. I'm doing a power hour, which means that I have to try and chalk as many projects as I can using different surfaces. So I can't reuse the same surface. Um, I can't use the same transfer twice. And 
It's a challenge to see who can do the most projects in an hour under those constraints. So I really have to plan for that because I like using the same boards. So it's, it's tough. I might have to cut some wood just to make sure that I got some different sizes. Yeah. All right, my friends, that is it for Monday night. Oh, well, maybe I should do it Wednesday then, Anita, because it is going to be a full hour of chalking. It's a full hour. And then after I'm done, I think I might do a time lapse video. And thanks, Marlo, you too. All right, let's do it Wednesday then, Anita. I love it when you watch, so that is, will be the plan. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say, so yesterday I did the giveaways. The Happy Mail went out today, this morning. And I'm going to be doing the same thing every week. Now, I did post a picture, and that could be what the prize is next Sunday. So, the same rules apply if you sprinkle the video. Every time you sprinkle, your name goes into the draw, into the wheel of names. And sometimes I do more than just one winner. The one winner will be the big winner. And then um, some other ones will get happy mail. Yesterday we had four winners. The main winner and three additional winners. So... Your chances are really good. And the more times you sprinkle the video, the more entries you get into the draw. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. I am done for the night. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And I will see you tomorrow, probably around 4.30. Tomorrow's Tuesday. All right. I will see you later. Bye for now.